Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your monitor. So, you're going to go to Google and type in custom resolution utility. So, right here. And then it takes you to this. So, you're going to click this first link custom resolution utility, CRU. Now, it has all these start things, ads. Don't click anything on this page except for, you see my mouse? Right here. That is what you need to click the download. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to show up in the bottom left hand of my Google. I'm going to click open. So well, WinRAR, uh, Win you don't need WinRAR. That's just something I have, but you do not need that to do this. All you need to do is you'll go to your files and you see CRU EXE. So you're going to click that. You're going to click yes. It's going to take you to this page right here, this little pop-up. So now that I'm on this pop-up, if you have multiple monitors, it should show you different options for your monitors. So, oops, I closed it. So we're going to open it again. So right here, this is the monitor that I want to overclock right now. So I'm going to click this. Now you can see, these are the different resolutions I've set for it so far. I have it running at 250 hertz right now. But just to show you how it works, I'm going to show you what you have to do. So I'm going to click Add. Now, 60 hertz, let's say I want to move my monitor to, let's say 80 hertz, right? So I'm just going to type in 80. That's it. And I just click OK. So now it shows that there. And then all I have to do is click OK right here. And it's done. That's it. That's how easy it is. Now all I have to do is go and reset my computer. And once I restart it, I'll show you what to do from there. So I'll be right back. One second. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I just restarted my computer. So now all you have to do after you restart, go to your desktop and right click. And you're going to go down to display settings right here. Click on that. And it'll take you to this page. Now from this page, you're going to scroll down. And it says advanced display settings, this little blue button. Click on that once. Now you're going to go here, display adapter properties. I'm going to click that. And so right here, you can make sure it's set. it says the monitor that you want. If it doesn't say the monitor that you wanted to change, then you just go here and you change it. But mine does, so I'm just going to leave it what it is. You're going to click monitor again. Now when you click on this, the value that you just set in custom resolution utility will show up. So I set 80, and it shows 80 right here. So I'm just going to click that. So now, not all monitors can be overclocked. So... I would recommend starting off with smaller numbers. If you have a 60 hertz, maybe try like 75 at first. And if it doesn't work, then you can just keep trying smaller values until it does work, or maybe it won't work at all. But I would just start off small, and then if it does work, you can try to overclock it higher and higher if you want. So, but basically, when, once you choose your refresh rate here, you just click apply. The screen blacks out for a couple seconds, but it does that. It comes back and now I'm just going to click keep changes and then OK that's it so now my refresh rate is 80 Hertz as you can see so if it doesn't work for you and it gives you an error message I would go back into custom resolution utility do it all over again but just try a, a smaller refresh rate a lower number and if it doesn't work then your monitor might not be able to be overclocked but if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments, and if you like the video and you want more tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe.